Big match up here tonight, ready to go. And oh, look at from behind. Why did he come out here and ruin this thing? It's a message sent. A message that needed to be sent. Yeah, that guy should be suspended or fined. This is ridiculous. You're crazy. He's just doing what he needed to do. And how could he even go in this match? Oh, come on. He's not ready. That's what I call taking a pounding. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Finn Balor is in action, and I can see a lot of Balor Club members here tonight. Byron, could you do me a favor and point them out? I just want to know who to avoid after the show tonight. Ah, oh, punch to the gut. I'll take the wind right out of you. It appears as though Finn Balor is beginning to lose steam. I'm not Ooh. sure how much more he has to give. Guys, I wasn't anticipating this type of performance for him tonight. He's starting to look a little lost in there right now. Unleashing it for the second time now. What's coming next? Taking their time. Ah, oh, punch to the gut. I'll take the wind right out of you. <laughs> oh, man. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Look at this. There's absolutely no wasted motion in this attack. Oh, jeez. Take all the wind out of you. How's that for ferocious? It's like someone hit the repeat button for this move. Oh, that's it. That's got to be it. Finn Balor. Now, that's a finishing move, people. I'm not sure how much he has left. And Finn Balor might have just secured the victory. Not so fast. On the comeback trail. And now Finn Balor heads up. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Incoming. In a precarious position here. Yeah, I don't like where this is heading, Michael. When this guy's on, look out. Strowman. This is not going to be good at all. Oh, Braun Strowman slamming into the mat. This one is over. Braun Strowman is getting ready here. You got to think of oh, hellacious power slam. Things are about as bad as they could possibly be right now for Finn Balor. <laughs> oh, man. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Horowitz from 1995. I remember that like it was yesterday, Cole. Instead of putting Horowitz away, Skip thought it would be a good idea to do some mid-ring push-ups. As you were saying, the decision ultimately came back to haunt him. Finn Balor has competed around the world under several names, but why he chose his moniker in WWE speaks to who he is the most, Corey. That's right. Ripped out of the pages of Irish mythology, Finn McCool was a hero who battled the evil one-eyed demon king known as Balor. It's a story Finn always uses as a source of power. The monster among men picks his opponent up. Oh, my gosh, from what heights? 
Things are about as bad as they can possibly be right now for Finn Balor. That should do it. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Guys, there's more to Finn Balor's name than what Corey brought up. Finn's name is also a tribute to his dad, Finton, who taught his son what it meant to have tireless work ethic. Certainly paying tribute to your father and deep. Look at Finn Balor making his moves. Finn Balor going high risk. Cody Gross! What a comeback. Finn Balor can draw the curtains off. He can end it here. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Braun Strowman gets the shoulder up. Yeah, good luck keeping those massive shoulders on the mat. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. A crushing fall. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. A scary attack on the neck here. And now Finn Balor heads up. Look at Finn Balor stalking him. Lands this, and he is done. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon. And given how impactful that move has been as of late, I'd say there's only his shoulders are down. He's got plenty of gas left in the tank. Oh, wow. To the air with a missile drop kick. Some of the all-time greats in this business utilized the running power slam as a finishing maneuver. None of them had the utter force that Braun Strowman's version possesses. And Braun Strowman's definitely doing what he can to get the psychological edge. The running power slam from Braun Strowman. Shoulders on the mat. He gets the shoulder up before three. Wow, if you want to beat this Irishman, you're going to have to come up with more than that. And we're back to this form of attack. Oh, no. Leaving himself open here. Yeah, guys, I can't think of a worse place for him to be right now. with authority. Strowman is feeling it right here. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. Finn Balor needs to dial back some of that Irish charm right about now. That kick connects. At this point, you think he'd have that move with shoulders on the back. One! Ron Strowman with an easy kick out there. Yeah, good luck keeping those massive shoulders on the mat. He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. <laughs> oh, man! Finn Balor is in position. That one fails to connect. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though. He's just so quick. Oh, boy, he is rolling. The relay kick. The end is near. The longer this fight goes on, the more wear and tear on each competitor. Who is going to have enough to pick up the win? Down 19-16. Finn Balor never ceases to amaze me. He goes for it a second time. We may have discovered his favorite move. Going all the way up. Balor looking to end it. Oh boy, he is rolling. At what point do those thoughts creep in of what do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I don't know as a WWE superstar if you ever have those thoughts of self-doubt. Boy, that hit the mark. Whoa, Strowman dodged that one. He wants to do this in the ring. Brought in the hard way. Look out, Braun Strowman is measuring. Braun Strowman slamming into the mat. 
Game, set, match. This one is over. He's going for the pin. Two. Barely at two and a half. Still in it. Look at Braun Strowman stalking him. He can't withstand one bit more. Oh, hellacious power slam. Things are about as bad as they could possibly be right now for Finn Balor. Braun Strowman is getting ready here. Slam. Face first. That's how you put an next hole being ended here. Two. Three. The cover. And this one's history. What a win. Let's look back on the action from the last match. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Here is your winner, Ron Strowman. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. Believe it or not, that... Excited, I can tell. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds, the Lions. Guys, we have two of them. My colleagues may have harsh opinions about Elias's musical talents, but I see Elias as a man who's just born to run all over WWE. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Throughout his time in WWE, Elias has demonstrated an ability to defeat up and comers and veterans alike. Sometimes with a six string on their back. Look, there's no doubting Elias' ability inside the ring. I just wish he'd take up something like making model Elias. airplanes instead of live musical performances, if those qualify as such. <laughs> oh, man! Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. And he hits a big time drop kick. Here we go, back inside the ring. Taking the boots to him. He has them right where he wants him. He'd be smart to stay put there. He's got the shoulders down. That was all too easy for Elias. Wow. Flattens him with a clothesline. Drew McIntyre faltering some. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Guys, for my money, Elias has to be the greatest musician-slash-athlete to ever compete in a WWE ring. He's a consummate performer, both on the guitar and in the ring. Oh, I'm going to stop you right there. Elias is the best at nothing. We have a Hall of Famer who conquered Nashville in the form of Jeff Jarrett. He goes for the cover. And the kick out. And Wilder pops the shoulder up. Plenty of fight left. Drew McIntyre has chosen to kick out here. See what I did? Gonna take a whole lot more. 
Not yet. The two of you went way off topic when you discussed Elias and other musicians who have competed in WWE. Besides, everyone knows Man Mountain Rock is the best, with Chris Jericho and Fozzy in a close second place. Oh, let's not forget the rappers who could put together rhymes far better than Elias. I'd pay to see men on a mission, our truth or the master of thugonomics John Cena performed before I threw a single cent into Elias' guitar case. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh. If you recall, guys, when Drew McIntyre first showed up here in 2009, he was anointed the Elias setting it up. There's no recovery from that. But is it enough to end it? Takes him down with brute force there. There's the inside cradle. Oh, a shin breaker. It's going to be hard to walk after that. As Byron alluded to, Drew McIntyre's initial run in WWE had ups and downs, but ever since his return in 2017, I'd say McIntyre's among the most dominant superstars on the roster, as would the people he's defeated since returning. And let's look at some of these names, Cole. Bobby Roode, Andrade Cien Alma, Seth Rollins. Those are some pretty big names, if you ask me. Elbow drop! that finisher it seems and that's a smart move just hit the finisher get the win and get out of there right on the bridge of the nose i don't think he should get up it might be cliche but it's true here it ain't over till it's over nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy and throw the ddt fight twice as nice Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer than you have to be. Yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up, especially if you're in the ring with somebody like Saxton. He delivers a hard clothesline. Drew McIntyre is getting ready. He's making a statement here with this attack. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. What a disgusting way to treat a WWE official. This match is tossed out. Ouch, the low blow. Look who's on Raw! Little Miss Bliss! Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Mickey James, from Columbus, Ohio, the Raw Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss! Five feet of fury! Time. And her opponent, from Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida, Alicia Fox. And there she goes, the sweep floors her. Both superstars come into this matchup with a lot to prove. Concentrating on the knee here. Oh, oh man! Right to the face. Nothing fancy about that. Five, six, 
Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Oh, guys, there's the back of her head. Took most of the punishment from that. Alicia Fox, not where she wants to be right now. She's going to need to find a way to mount an offense here. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. It's been an amazing match up to this point, guys. And from where I sit, any one of these women can win this thing. Plenty of force behind that knee. Oh, alley you power bomb! That might be it. Whoa, whoa! That hurt me! We've seen many firsts for women in WWE over the last few years, but Alexa, cover here. Up and down, leg lariat. And Alexa Bliss gets out of the pinfall. She came here to fight, not lay down. The kick gets her. Looks like Alicia Fox is taking the upper hand. Alexa Bliss gets out of the way quickly. And she drops her. That was about as in your face as it gets. Michael, it's amazing how quickly Alexa became both Raw and SmackDown Women's Champion. She lost the SmackDown Women's Championship in the beginning of April and ended the month beating Bayley for the Raw Women's Championship at Payback. Gentlemen, that went the cover. Digging deep for a kick out. Too soon. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Alexa Bliss has had an unbreakable grip on... We got a cover. And there's the kick out by Alexa Bliss. Too soon. A knee drop! <laughs> oh, man! Here's a cover. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. Yeah, it's going to take more than that. Corey, you mentioned before that Alexa Bliss is a master when it comes to getting in her opponent's heads, and it's worked against the likes of Bailey and Mickey James. Heck, Alexa Bliss even pit her competitors against each other when in five or six woman matches. You really have to clear your head and focus against Little Miss Bliss. Second time's a charm. This may very well be it. Alicia Fox with an easy kick out. Gonna take more than that. She is on fire. Look out, Alexa Bliss is one move after the other. It's devastating. She's dominating now. And the fight must go on. Wow. Alicia Fox got out of there in time. She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. And it's Alexa Bliss with the reversal. Oh, she does it again. She's got her in her sights. She better not rise to the bait. She clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. And she gets her shoulder up. Not yet. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Looks like Alicia Fox is feeling the physicality of this contest. She may very well have reached the point of no return. Can she end it here? We're looking at complete domination here. Digging deep for a kick out. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. It starts to... Oh, wow. This might be Fox's night. Oh, and a pin attempt. I guess she feels there's something to be said for going back to something that worked before. Yes! Takes it!
And look who's here. Look who's here. Why not get the best seat in the house, the best view of what's going on? Oh, they're just, just disrespecting Corey. That's all this is about. Mind games, Cole. champion in history making his way to the ring accompanied by paul Heyman from minneapolis minnesota weighing in at 295 pounds brock lesnar A decade and a half of dominance. And his opponent from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John. I say it all the time, and I mean it. The greatest of all time, John Cena, 16-time world champion. There is always a special bug. When it comes to great rivalries, Byron, I know you have Brock Lesnar versus John Cena high on your list. Oh, absolutely, Michael. For me, it's hard to top their battle at Extreme Rules 2012. Just the overall intensity during that match was off the charts as Cena took a beating but eked out a close victory against the Beast Incarnate. Settle in, guys. This is going to be a blast to watch. Well, as Byron mentioned, Cena did indeed. He's got him covered. Straight punch. Sure. There's the kick out by Brock Lesnar. That's all right, Cole. And he lands the slam. <laughs> oh, man. And a thunderous crash. What a clothesline. <laughs> oh, man. Here it comes. He's got him. He'd be wise to stay right there. some punishment with these two guys we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle hey you're gonna absorb he goes for the cover John Cena's going up this one's far from over too early for that and a monstrous splash if an opponent exhibits a weakness for a specific move some will return to utilizing that move as long as possible you know guys when Brock Lesnar came into WWE in 2002 he was immediately dubbed the next big thing and I think it's safe to say that that moniker was pretty accurate. Unleashing it for the second time now. <laughs> oh, man! Oh, and he hits the axe handle. And look at the quickness by Cena. The next big thing was an accurate assessment of Lesnar, as Michael was saying. But truth be told, he didn't need a catchy nickname. Everybody could already see how dangerous he was. <laughs> Especially Matt and Jeff Hardy, who Lesnar completely decimated at the same time in his earliest matches. I don't think they've ever truly woken from that. That'll turn you around. Uh-oh, the delayed gut wrench suplex. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Guys, it's no secret that Brock Lesnar is not well received in the locker room. He comes in and out when he wants and holds special privileges because, as Roman Reigns once said, Brock is Vince's boy. Drops the knee with a vengeance.
This is the Cena that's just about unstoppable. As Michael mentioned, Brock Lesnar is perceived as Vince's boy in the locker room. But the thing is, Brock doesn't care about a single superstar. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. For more than 20 years, Monday night has been the premier night in all of sports entertainment. And you can bet tonight will surely live up to the lofty standards. And look at the quickness by Cena. John Cena is measuring. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer than you have to be. Yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up, especially if you're in the ring with somebody like Sixth. He's playing with him now. See if he takes the bait. Attitude adjustment. This one's over, guys. I think it goes without saying, but Byron, the keep ready Brock Lesnar opponent is to avoid a trip to Suplex City. Uh, yeah, that's easier said than John Cena makes the cover. What? Oh, he kicked out. Unbelievable. Wow, I thought this was over. When Brock is feeling it, good luck to you. Byron brings up a good point about Suplex City. Lesnar has been able to suplex superstars of all sizes, including the massive Big Show. You're absolutely right, Cole. Nobody's immune to Suplex City. And for me, my favorite part is watching Paul Heyman count along with each and every suplex. And now he goes for it a second time. We may have discovered his favorite move, unleashing it for the second time now. He thinks he has it. He gets the shoulder up in time. Big match, John is not gonna go down that easily. He's moving like a man possessed. Nope, reverses it. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. What a match this has been, guys, and it's starting to look like these superstars are beginning to feel the effects. I was never a fan of showboating, but there is a time and a place for it. Just ask Cena. Both of these superstars looking a little worse for wear right now. Oh, come on, not like this. This is not how I wanted to see this end. And here's a look back at some of the action from the previous match. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE winner, matches John I've ever been able to watch. Cena. And that's what happens when you can't answer the 10 count. Come on, ref. Let us get back in there. Let's get a true winner.
We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. I don't want to jinx. I can't wait for this. This is going to be an unbelievable matchup. I've been waiting to see this one go down for a long, long time. And it's going to happen in moments. Oh, we don't have to wait much longer. Oh, look at Driving the superstar kidney first into the apron. The official looking to separate these, these two. And the brawl is underway. Chaos. Singles action is underway. And in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Hey, if Seth Rollins decides to burn it down tonight, uh, hey, Corey, can I borrow your water bottle? I'll tell you what, Byron, if you really want to stay safe, how about you leave the commentary table for the rest of the night? I'll cover for you. I got this. That's a little extreme. There are two things to remember about Baron Corbin's end of days. One, the incredible display of raw power it takes to execute the maneuver. And two, Corbin doesn't care who he drops with it. Taken down with great force. Such an impressive finishing maneuver and delivers incredible impact. End of Days leaves its victims out cold on the canvas for a long, long time. The End of Days from Baron Corbin is just another way for the Lone Wolf to show his disdain for fellow WWE superstars. Corbin won't stop until there is no one left. Close line! Oh, that'll leave a mark. That could break a nose. I gotta say, guys, I've been incredibly impressed by what we've seen from this superstar in recent weeks. <laughs> oh, man! Strike right! Good night. And that was only a one. Making those Iowans and other middle Americans proud. No, he reverses it. Well, Byron, you're not the only one impressed by what you've seen as of late. It seems these responsible for the weekly rankings have also taken notice because this superstar comes into tonight with quite an impressive spot. And well-deserved, too, I might say. It just goes to show that wins here in WWE go a long way in solidifying your spot on the roster. And I must say, fellas, I... Baron Corbin is getting ready here. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, wow. well, the architect is rolling now. I'm not sure how much he has left. Oh, man, Baron Corbin is in trouble now. Brought in the hard way. Buckle bomb! But is it enough to end it? Going for the cover. Two, three, three. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Let's take another look at these guys in action. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. Ladies and gentlemen, you just got a taste of the unbelievable kind. Here is your winner, Seth Rollins. Looking dominant at times in the victory. Oh, I hate to say it, but... Baron Corbin squandered away his opportunity tonight. He sure did. Boy, I don't think we're going to have too many disappointed viewers at home. Not with action like we just saw.